time for more high school tournament basketball around the state of Maine. We're getting closer to the best part of this week, regional championships. Number three, Old Town, and number 10, MDI, meeting in the B North semifinals. The Trojans' Jamison Weir with a nice pass to the baseline for Jay Haney. You'll get a look at this right here down there down low. The Coyotes strike back in a defensive first quarter. It's Aiden Gom getting it done. MDI pressures Old Town into a mistake. This time, Cal Hodgson hurries the other way to beat the first quarter buzzer. 7-6 Coyotes after one. Grayson Tebow's three-pointer won't fall, but Jaden Powers is right there for the putback. Tied at 18 at the half and 26 through three. Old Town answers the bell in the fourth. Tyler Priest outlet the Tebow to cap off a 10-0 run to start the quarter. The Coyotes fend off the Trojans 49 to 42. Number one, Ellsworth. Number four, Orono in the B North semis. Red Riots led. 23-15 at the half. Ben Francis knocks down the three-pointer for an 11-point lead. Eagles not giving in. Joe James Chin tosses to Chance Mercier for the corner three. Orono is unfazed. Francis finds Bergen Soderberg for another tray. 34-23 riots through three quarters. Dawson Curtis from beyond the arc. Eagles within eight with five to go. Ellsworth started intentionally fouling with four minutes left, but Orono made its free throws down the stretch. Orono will meet Old Town in the B North Championship after a 53-38 win over Ellsworth. Number two, Old Town taking on number six, MDI in the B North Girls Semis. Trojans Lexi Tozier to Molly Gray taking a bump and gets to go with the foul. Old Town's Alexis DeGrasse sees Taylor Loring on the run down the left wing. Floaters good, 12-8 Trojans after one. Coyotes climbing back, Michaela Emerson from three. Old Town up at the half. Third quarter, Tozier has it again, faking, stepping through and putting it up for two to tie the game. Final minute, Gray drives and gives the Trojans a one-point lead. Emerson ties it with her second free throw here. A Trojans inbound turnover would give the Coyotes another chance with 17 seconds. Emerson has it again and gives Old Town the lead in the final seconds. Last chance for MDI. Half-court prayer goes unanswered. Old Town advances in a classic 37-35 over the Trojans. Number one, Ellsworth. Number four, Caribou fighting for a spot in the B-North title game. Eagles up 17-11 after one. Lily Bean and Abby Raydell right there. We've seen Raydell from the outside. Now she drives for two more. Here comes Caribou. Amelia Godin drains the three on the left side. Ellsworth's Elise Sargent answers Godin for the Eagles. It was just a shooting clinic. Caribou's Madeline Depre's got one from deep right there, but Ellsworth is a machine. Raydell to Sargent for another triple, extending a double-digit lead. Ellsworth wins 64-44 over Caribou. Class D North semis, number two, Bangor Christian, number three, Southern Aroostook Patriots. Jalen Reed likes this from three-point land. Got that. BC trying to knock out the two-time defending champs. Elliot Strawbell drilling the three. Rajon Reed with the dime. Ethan Collier strikes back for SA from mid Mid-range. Bangor Christian up 11-5 after one. Dylan Burpee clears the deck of the Patriots defense for three. Pats led 25-11 at the half, but another Burpee tray gets the Warriors within six after three. Tight game down the stretch. Conrad Strawbell puts the Pats up five with four to go. BC up three in crunch time. Elliott with ice in his veins from the corner. There will be a new Class D state champion this year. Bangor Christian knocks out Southern Aroostook 40-33. to Undefeated Skank taking on number four, Katahdin. On the break, Mason McDonough is scoring. Katahdin looking to run also. Connor Edwards hard to the hoop. Skank would end the first half with a three. Braden Osborne buzzer beater extending the lead to 26-10 at the half. Cougars trying to claw back into the game. An inbound play goes to Josh Martin. Wolverines also going inside to the big man Owen Wyman, keeping it a 14-point lead after three. Skank stays undefeated with a 50-42 win over Katahdin. A North Girls semis, number three, Coney. Number two, Hamden. Coney, the lower seed, despite winning both games during the regular season against the Broncos. Eve Wiles thinks about it and drains the three in the second quarter. Other way, Cassie LaCroix drives strong and won. Coney still down 28-23 at the half. Rams take the lead in the third and add to it in the fourth. Macy 
Freeman, tough move on the baseline. Then they spread out the Broncos, and Freeman hits Morgan Fichthorn for two. Abby Morrow, also featuring, led the way for Coney with 15 points. It's the Rams over the Broncos, 52-40. Defending A champ Lawrence of Fairfield and Camden Hills, a hot start for Lawrence. Matty Provost for three here makes it a 14-0 ball game in favor of the Bulldogs. Camden Hills working hard to put a rally together. Kirsten Jones somehow gets this one to fall. For Lawrence, their only senior is Kaylee Elkins. Great pass to Lily Gray. Bulldogs and Coney in the regional final Friday. Final score 58-45. Civic Center packed for number three Meso, number two Mount Blue, splitting the regular season game. Scorching start for Meso. Sam Doobie off the steal takes it himself. 11-0 Eagles. Evan Sterling doing his best to help Mount Blue back in it. His second ever gets the Cougars on the board, but Meso was pouring it on. Merrick Smith with some sweet post moves. Size advantage, he had 14. And Ryan Parent throwing daggers, hit three threes in the second to just put it out of reach. They led 26-9 at the half. And Cruz, final score, Meso 45, Mount Blue 36. In the north, number one seed Hamden Academy and number four Camden Hills from the start. High tempo off the miss. J.J. Wolfington put back for Hamden. He had 18. Other end offensive glass leading to points down there too. Miles Spear cleans it up. Jammers trailing by four at the break. For the Broncos, Zach McLaughlin is a bad man hitting the three-pointer. Then one more time, a... Tough step back move. This would fall on his way to 15 points. Hamden Academy advances 64-48 over Camden Hills. Great game in AA North semis. Oxford Hills and Bangor back in fourth game. Avery Clark to the hoop for Bangor. Rams up three in the third. Ella Pelletier gets going for Oxford Hills going off the glass for two. Then taking it all the way in transition for the layup. Vikings up three after three. Bangor up one with two minutes to go until Tristan Derenberger hits the three. Three. Then with Bangor down two, Clark hitting the jumper, and the game goes to overtime. In OT, Gabby Tibbetts hits the three and gives the Vikings the lead for good. The Vikings end the Rams season 47-42. D-South semis, number one, Valley, number five, Wiscasset. Great signs there. Valley, not bashful like them. Fisher Tewksbury, the outlet to Harry Lewis, 11-1 early on for Valley. End of the first, Wiscasset freshman Landon Sheary beats the buzzer, banking in the three. Wiscasset down just two. Sheary had 16, but Lewis continued to cook, hitting the three-pointer later on. Three of his 27 points. Then off the loose ball, it's Tewksbury, the easy lay-in down at the other end. He had a 20. It's Valley by 40 over Wiscasset. They get the winner of number three, Forest Hills, number two, St. Dom. Saints up eight at the break. Jack Brock, offensive glass there for Forest Hills. It was Cooper Daigle on the fast break. The up and under finish down there at the end. But well, the Saints were efficient on offense. Taylor Varney drains the three from the far side. He had 18. And even when the Saints missed, they were opportunistic. Jonathan Tangela Misu, the putback. He had 13, one of five players in double figures. St. Dom's defeats Forest Hills 80 to 55. Keep it right here for our continuing tourney reports all the way to the state championship game.